Hey guys, Chitta Fahadlin is here today to talk about a very confusing topic when it comes to anamorphic shooting. But first, I'd like to ask, isn't it weird that I always start these videos talking about myself in the third person? Hey guys, Chitta Fahadlin is here of something something anamorphic. No? Anyway, today we're going to be looking at Rapidos plus 0.5 86 millimeters achromatic diopter and why that is a great addition to any shooter's toolkit. If you don't care about it yet, I'll show you why you should. I'll admit the words achromatic and diopter are not the most appealing to beginners. So if you're pushing through this one, I'm assuming you have some understanding about it. I'll make things easier just in case, so stick around and hit that like button before you get caught up in the video and forget all about it. On the off chance you still don't understand what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel now. I have some content coming up about diopters that should clear all questions on the subject of diopters and close-up filters. They're a key element for improving your anamorphic shooting. Diopters are like glasses for your lenses. They allow you to see better, closer. And anamorphics usually suck at seeing better closer. Most of them just love being at infinity. The power of the diopter determines how close you see. I bet you've seen tons of diopter or close-up sets before for super cheap, like 20 bucks for four of them. So what's special about Rapidos? Well, if you look at those cheap sets, you see the power from those diopters ranges from plus one to plus 10. I'm not, I'm not getting into the details of how diopters work in this video, but in essence, they lock your infinity focus at a new distance. A plus one won't allow you to focus further than one meter from the front of the lens. That's three feet if you're American or British. Three feet away from the lens is pretty close for most situations. If you're trying to frame a medium close-up, I bet you can't do it from three feet away. And that's where Rapidos diopter uh, power comes in. A plus 0.5 diopter locks your infinity at two meters or six feet, which is a much more workable range. Oh, these things also change your minimum focus. But since the math is more convoluted, you can use the calculator in the description. So a low power diopter is much more desired. They're more flexible and still improve performance at close focus. That's why you hear about the Tokina plus 0.4 or the Minolta plus 0.33, Vormax plus 0.5, SLR Magic plus 0.33, and so on. Cool. We figured out what's special about it being plus 0.5. Now the size, 86 mil with threads on both sides. 86 mil is pretty big, like really big. This improves your odds of using it without vignetting. For example, here's the Elmoscope 2 on a 15 mil taking lens and a 72 mil plus 0.5 diopter. Notice the vignetting. Now, I swap that for the Rapido 86 mil, same power. See how much cleaner the image got? It's the same line as comparing the FVD 16A and 35A. The massive size of the 35 clears the frame a lot better. The last piece of the puzzle, and the one that really hikes the price, is the achromatic part. Remember those cheap diopters we were talking about? Those are made of a single glass element. It means performance is only good in the center of the image and it quickly degrades uh, towards the edges. Acromats are made of two glass elements that counter each other's aberrations. The result is a much cleaner image with great performance across the field. The downside is they're much heavier than a single element diopter. Rapidos weighs 170 grams or just under 0.4 pounds. On this one, the coatings are also pretty neutral, adding no side effects to the footage when flares show up. 
To give you some reference, the coatings on the SLR Magic are so strong, they create blue ghosts when flaring. The diopter sells at Rapido's website for 280 bucks. There's a link for it in the description. I'd say this is not a key piece of gear if you're just getting started into anamorphics, but all of this info is good to have in the back of your mind. If you feel happy about the look of your shots and you want to push it a little further towards perfection, getting into diopters is the way to go. Do you care about this now? I'd love to hear your thoughts about uh, this diopter in the comments below. And if you have any questions about diopters in general, feel free to shoot them here so I can make sure to cover them on my diopters only video. To make sure you get on that one, subscribe and hit the little bell button. Thank you for hanging out and I'll see you soon. Shit of out.